So today it's almost 70 degrees and sunny and at the Samaritan Community Center Garden we're gearing up for our spring crops. Last year we grew almost 15,000 pounds of fresh produce for our Samaritan Cafe and Market in Springdale and Rogers. So this year we're starting seeds in the greenhouse, we're getting the beds prepped and we could really use your support. So if you want to come out and volunteer, use the link below at the Sign Up Genius and if you want to continue to watch the video, you'll find out more about how we grow hydroponic lettuce. <laughs> okay, so the start of the process is getting this rock wool, which is a mineral substance that we order online. We put lettuce seeds in each of these holes. Um, after we've soaked the rock wool for a couple of hours in water. And then we cover it all with um, some kind of like black, maybe like a trash bag, just something to keep the sun out until they germinate. Now these ones were kept covered for a little bit too long, which is why they ended up spindly, and so you don't want to do that. But it helps them germinate better when they're not exposed to sun right away. So if I uncovered it right away when they started to sprout, that would be the best case scenario. But basically, you want to wait until the roots start to go down below the rock wool before you plant the whole system into the hydroponic setup. Um, so you just keep dipping them in water once a day uh, for probably about two weeks before you plant. Um, but basically the goal is just to make sure you have a good healthy root system underneath to plant. So the spindly thing will be okay. Um, so once we have the lettuce ready to plant. We just take the white trays which we've cleaned with vinegar and hydrogen peroxide um, and rinsed off and we plant each of them into one of these little squares um, after we assemble the whole system. And then the way that it works is it's a closed loop of water coming from the main water basin up, um, it's filtered and then it goes up through the PVC all the way to the top and then is fed on these small tubes um, to each of these trays and the water just kind of falls down with gravity and it goes all the way back down into the tank. So it's just constantly watering and we have to keep a good pH level and nutrient level with fertilizer um, and that's about it. The way that we make sure that we have the right uh, pH and fertilizer level is just reading this lab controller. We're good. That was enough. 